Right, let's make a start on this. Got me sprues of bits and bobs laid out. Stage one is, of course, to remove the large parts of fuselage and wing from the sprues and clean them up. So that means cutting through, and, and actually, this is pretty grim. I mean, that's a large bit, oh, out of focus, that's a large bit of sprue to take off and then make it look good again. It's a big old lump there. So let's get started. Right, well, let's cut off, use my nippers for that. Now I've got to get the scalpel out and then the sandpaper out because it's quite big lumps, which I've had to leave standing proud so as to not lose part of the fuse large. Not brilliant, is that? Uh, so they're cleaned down and done. It took me just a couple of minutes. Quite pleased actually because it appears, despite what I've read and heard from the, few, um, from the internet, the fuselage actually seems to fit together okay. So there's a little bit of a press and a squeeze when you put it together and then a little, little bit of sanding and gap filling on the top. I think that'll be okay. Right, so I've got my two halves there and a bit of primer. So prime the inside because that's going to get a bit of a paint with interior green, which might be visible through the holes. There we go, a nice thin coat of primer on the inside. Stage one. So that's your wheels and the bottom of your engine nacelles. So there we go, we've got them ready to clear up. There's the oleo leg, or oleo strut. Okay, so this, there's a bit of flash, a bit of untidiness, but nothing bad. The problem I have discovered is this plastic is really soft. So that's got to uh, slow things down by making me really concentrate. Well, here we go then. For the first time in many years, I'm ready to start gluing. And I have my old tub of Humbrol liquid poly glue now. This, I don't know how old it is. Years and years and years. But I think it'll still stick stuff. Let's crack on. Well, they fit together quite nicely. I'll tidy them up once they're all stuck and sort of secure and hardened off. Look at that, the undercarriage legs move. That's nice. Next is the wing assemblies. Very simple, as you can see from here. So you've got the upper, the lower, and you've got an aileron and then that bit goes on there so this is good because the ailerons can move up and down always used to annoy me that uh, i had to cut the flaps out and then stick them in place that i had wheels that were stuck in place on the runner carriages you know it's easy all you've got if you have a look here is a hole on either side and a little pivot so it can go up and down just makes for such a more playable model as a kid Right, wing assembly. So it's a case of running the liquid poly around the edges, stinging it together, holding it down. Might have to go look for some pegs, I think. Well, that went together really well. The aileron moves. I'm just holding it in the corner here. So I'm also pleased to report that my 15 to 20 year old liquid poly works perfect. Okay, really good. Probably people don't mention this sort of thing anymore the liquid glue but it was such a game changer so as a kid with those little tubes of polystyrene cement you ended up with fingerprints over everything especially over the glazing and just <sighs> masses and masses of glue everywhere anyway i can get on with the second one now sweet so the pegs can hold that all closed together that means the first four stages are practically done. I say practically done because I haven't fitted the wheels on yet, and I'm not going to yet, and I haven't fitted the engine nacelles on yet. Those will pop on later. They'll just go on there and there. They'll go on absolutely fine. And then those wing assemblies will be ready for, for painting. But before I pop those on, I'm gonna go down here. There's bits of flash here. So I've just got to tidy up the edges of the wings. So a little bit of gentle sanding and trimming and the same on the nasals so you can see the, the ridges where they've been stuck together. So I'll just smooth that out. 
And once that's done, that goes on there, that goes on there, or the other way around, whatever. And uh, it's ready for priming. And then I can start painting. And the wheels will go on later. Because they obviously need different colours. So I'm going to be airbrushing this, not hand painting it, which was the option at the time when this kit first came out. You know, back in 1962 or whatever. So the wings put together. Very minor sanding. Excellent fit. So that was good. No problems at all with it. So I've just given them a quick spray with a bit of primer on the top half and I shall do the under half later and put the uh, engine nasals on. Right, here we go then. Step two. This is the uh, cockpit. Very, very sparse. And the uh, gun turret. And then the fitting of the windows and the interior. So I say step two, uh, as you can see by the numbers on it, step one. But what I'm going to pretend is that I like to do the wings first and then the fuselage after, rather than, than admit to you all that I should have put my bloody glasses on. <laughs> I'm going to have to for this anyway. That's far too fiddly for me now that I'm 49 and my eyesight's dropped off a cliff. But yeah, so I'll crack on with that later on. Um, all very simple it's really sparse i mean this sort of thing cries out for a modern kind of resin kit and photo etch kit and so on to go on it but i'm not into all that nonsense so yeah it's uh, it's looking good but i will of course have to get the airbrush out and do a nice coating of interior green on the cockpit and the inside of the fuselage pick out a bit of details and get the windows in so yeah that's going to be something for me to do next it's beginning to look a lot like hudson right they just actually popped into place briefly so right i didn't film this because i did it like three in the morning um didn't want to wake kids up so this isn't stuck together as yet if i just open that up right so i built the cockpit up look at that nice complex bit of uh, cockpit in it huh uh and that bit i guess the bomb aimer and i put the turret in this is quite good look those those go up and down right and this turns around and around ah, that's nice um so yeah that's got to be obviously painted um and so is that obviously the interior has as well which is why i've not stuck anything together so this was primed earlier if you remember i, I sprayed that look that's come apart there right sorry got to fiddle with that look that should be in them grooves doesn't fit very well at all actually pretty crap to be honest but anyway so i'm going to spray this with my interior green and then um pick out the other bits that need coloring before that gets stuck together um the wings the one aileron has fallen off because that's held in by two little lugs one of which uh came away very easily this one's all right quite like my up and down undercarriage so these are um gonna not get a coat yet what i'll do is wait until that's put together before i do that so i'll do underside then i'll do the sides anyway yeah so um a little bit to crack on with now anyway well here we are over here in the spray booth so i've sprayed the interior green onto my uh interior into the interior of that as well the gun turret and on that side and i've also blasted it into the wheel wells as well okay um the reason there's all this green gunge on the outside of the wing is because i got obviously a bit of overspray and then i've blasted that off with a bit of white spirit um to basically smooth it down um so yeah so we're gonna let that dry before we do any more looks good though quick blast for the airbrush quite happy with that da, 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 da. so i've had a good crack at it i've put the uh the, the the wheel well gondola engine nasals whatever they are on i've uh, put together the 
get in focus, the bulk of the tail plane. Okay, you haven't put the ailerons in place because that doesn't actually allow you to put them in place until you drop it onto the fuselage because of those bits that they slide to there. Uh, I've put the duct onto the engine. Okay, I've obviously got to paint my spinner before I put the props on the prop and go on last with it just pushed on. I do spraying or something because obviously you've got that bit that it rotates in um, and then I can do that. So current state of play is North screwdriver. That's for opening the paint tins. So got my interior green, got some bits of black on the cockpit, um, put the first sort of like layer thinly brushed on of black on the, uh, on the gun um, turret. Haven't done anything more on that as yet. Here are my, or here is my tailplane. Okay, so that's all been held together, glued on. Here's the engine bit. Okay, um, I'll have to get cracking on painting my little men. There's a couple of men in there. Sergeant Toe was the pilot of the one I'm depicting. I can't remember the names of the other crew off the top of my head, but uh, we shall pay tribute to them at a later date. So anyway, things are looking quite good. Hmm. It's a lot of glass to put in without messing it up and sticking my fingers all over it. Isn't it? I might change, put a bit of tape on it. <laughs> no, not really.